I am one with my I am presence. My holy Christ self. My personalities. My body elemental. And my new spirit. Every part of my being is in balance, harmony, and alignment. As I open the totality of my being to receive this message from our beloved Lord Metatron. Hello everyone. I welcome you from wherever on this planet you are choosing to view this video at this time. And know that whenever you see it, that my consciousness is there present in the room with you so that you too might receive the fullness of the activity that my light brings into every human consciousness and into the consciousness of all life evolving upon this planet. I am grateful for the time that you take to view these videos and to allow their essence to enter your being. filling it with love and delight in being alive. For it is God's intention that you live in a state of delight. As when you were first born, when children's basic physical needs are taken care of. They live in a state of delight. It is an exquisite feeling to be in a physical body when that physical body is healthy and functioning as it should. This is your destiny, even as it was your beginning. So all of those of you who are working towards having a healthy, balanced existence will find yourselves living in a state of delight, a precursor to the state of ecstasy. The difference between them, as I am using these words today, is that the delight is what you feel when your physical body is in balance and harmony. Ecstasy is what your consciousness will perceive when all of your bodies are in a state of perfection. Your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body. When all of these bodies have been purified of the past negativities which which they have been filled over the course of many incarnations, you will be able to remain permanently in a state of divine ecstasy even while maintaining your physical present presence on the earth. You need not die and go to heaven 
in order to experience this state of consciousness. But you must be purified of all of the darkness with which you have filled your various bodies over many incarnations. And so if you are living a conscious spiritual life at this time, you may find many circumstances coming up for a final resolution. Know that if you encounter these difficulties and seeming trials and tribulations with gratitude for the lessons that you are learning and with gratitude for all that they have brought you and all that you have learned from them. That you will be releasing them permanently and you will not have to deal with them again. But they must be released in a state of forgiveness and gratitude. These two elements will allow the release of all circumstances and people from your life who have been what you thought to be the source of your problems. Realize that all of your problems and difficulties have been created by yourselves alone. And the people and the circumstances that are coming to you now are simply the result of your own creation. And therefore, you are the only one that can bring them back into wholeness and return any negative, imperfect energies back to the source, back to the Creator. And when they are sent back with love and forgiveness, they are truly gone forever. This is a great blessing, in fact. And if you see it that way, you will experience it that way. If you see life circumstances as being unfair to you, and having nothing to do with you, if you feel yourself to be a victim of what you are experiencing in life, then these circumstances and people will continue to present themselves to your consciousness and into your life. For they cannot be resolved in a victim consciousness state. So, wake up, my dear ones. Accept the power that you have to transform your life. In doing so, you will become an emitter of grace and light and love that will flow out around you by your simple presence, an emitter of grace and light and love that will flow out around you by your simple presence in any room, in any place, in any group or organization to which you belong. As you purify your being, you become a beacon of light that naturally radiates out everywhere around you. Just as when a newborn child is brought into a room of people, you know how everyone focuses on the child, 
and delights in the child's presence. For the child naturally radiates this same love and light everywhere around it. You too can do this at any age and at any stage of life. After you have gone through the purification process. And even while you are going through it. For you do not need to be a hundred percent purified in order to radiate the light. The intensity of the light that you radiate will grow proportionately to the degree that you release the former negative energies held within your different bodies. As you go about the world, there will be those who will see your light and who will respond to it unconsciously or consciously, depending on how they perceive it. But they will be attracted to you because of your light. And this is a glorious thing to become. So I ask you to open your hearts and even in this now moment, if you so choose, allow my presence to rain upon you. Visualizing an iridescent light falling all around and within you. And this very light by your intention and acceptance will begin the process or continue the process of purifying all your different bodies. This is why I created the video on receiving divine light. If you wish to evolve at this time, this is truly all you need to do, is receive the holy living light, which is free and abundant and everywhere around you all the time. Receive it with the intention of allowing it to do its perfect work through your being. And that is all you need to do. And then as you go about your daily life, trust in the fact that every event and every person that comes into your life is coming because of the light that you are receiving and is coming to bring you wholeness and balance and perfection. You need not struggle with your mind to understand what is happening. For all the understanding that you need will come through spontaneously from within your own being once you have achieved that understanding. It will be spontaneous and perfect because it comes from within your own self. Part of humanity's difficulty at this time is because of a lack of trust in God and in their own divinity. Yes, you are divine. You are created in the image of God. 
but your mind has been full, filled with many falsehoods. Intentionally created to maintain your beings in a state of servitude to the powers that were. These powers are now disintegrating by the power of the light that is flooding upon the earth at this time. And as they leave, they are leaving a void behind them. God's intent is that this void be filled with trust. Trust in the higher order of truth. In the power that is, always was, and always will be. This power is yours to receive and to become. But it can only be received when there is empty space that it can fill. When it is filled with ancient negativity, that ancient negativity must be released first. That is just simply how it is. So know that you, if you open yourself to receive the holy living light, that it will begin or continue depending on where you are on your own personal path, the process of the releasing of all energies from all timelines, from every incarnational existence that you have ever had in any dimension that is not in alignment with your true divine self. This is my wish for you. It is my hope that you will do this and that you will give yourselves the gift of divine ecstasy, of living in the state that is your true and natural state of being. Thank you for listening.